So hey guys, welcome back to Born Traveller. Right, in today's video, I'm finally gonna do my boat trip. So last week, completely empty. This week, guess what? Completely full. <laughs> so we've gone from one extreme to the other, but finally we're going on this boat trip. Okay, let's get started. This here is the President Palace of Yugoslavia, President Tito. Go around in a circle to St. have a look at St. John's Church, which I didn't know, you could actually walk to it. So we're heading south down the lake now, we've gone past the Presidential Palace and now we're heading down to see other sides around the lake itself. So here we have another beach, um, this is one of the other beaches, um, so as you go down the lake there's more and more beaches. And actually there's more hotels and stuff, so if you really want to stop in like a posh hotel, probably search on booking.com or hotels.com and you're about to find a lot more. So the guy just said the mountain at the top there is 2,500 meters. Um, he showed me a photo of somebody actually, him actually climbing it. And what's amazing is that's quite high, that's almost as high as Cusco uh, in Peru in South America. In fact it's higher, Cusco is 2,200 meters. So this is a museum here, but again the, the Monday curse is it's closed but i'm hoping i might get a taxi down here and um come down here and, and see it but basically it shows like how they used to live the old huts old mud huts that they used to live in but they put them on stilts and they actually lived within the lake which is quite interesting so we'll try and see that another day this week there's absolutely no way you're gonna be able to see this but up there on the mountains you can see a load of paragliders so they launch from the mountain and you can go paragliding here. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You can, I can see them, I don't think you're gonna be able to see them on this camera. Uh, really, really amazing though. Wow, look at this. Coming to a limestone rock here. It's so crystal clear this water is. This rock's massive, by the way. Final destination today, we're heading to a place called St. Norm, which when we get there I'll show you what it's like. I hadn't really done any research on this trip. I wanted to be kind of surprised as I go. I hate researching. Surprise, it's nice and kind of have that bit of fun of not, you know, discovering new things and stuff like that. So I know we're going to St. Norm, but I don't really know anything about it. And I think that's what's great still about traveling. Don't do any research, just go. <laughs> So we're here at the Church Mother of God, Zahumska. Really beautiful. It's all been restorated. This this church here dates back to 1361 when it's first built. And they're still doing it all, but they built this new bit here seven or eight years ago to you know make it all look nice. Beautiful. You can only get here by boat. You can't come here by road. We've seen this style before, but it's really, really old fashioned style. Like they're using a lot more mortar in here, just a few bricks. The amount of mortar they put in here is crazy. Hey. So the guy's giving a tour, but he's, in, he's doing it in um, local language, and I'll probably come back and try and catch some more information. But as I say, I want to come down here back to the boat. I just want to show you how clear this water is. I have to say guys, if you're a Christian, if you want to be baptised, this is definitely the place to do it. Look at this water. I mean, if you're going to be baptised as an adult, you know, dunked in that water, wow. I've just, it's just breathtaking. Now, he was telling me the reason that the water is so clear is it refreshes itself. It comes down the mountain and then it goes under into these like whirlpools. So the water continually is refreshed. It basically sinks down and then it drains away and then it gets refreshed. So constantly it's getting being constantly like, you know, returned. Oh my God, that is cold. Right, so I understand why people don't want to go swimming here now. That is probably 
wow that water is probably maybe at the maximum three degrees i can barely keep my hand in that water so that's one or two degrees possibly i don't think i'll be able to keep my hand in this water for more than a minute or so but you can see how clear it is i'm not an instagrammer but that's a pretty special instagram unfortunately i can't really do it myself so you know if you want your instagram pose there you go guys probably the best you're gonna get from me look at this i mean this jesus man this is paradise i mean look at this place this is actually the first stop we made so far so i think we were supposed to go to that other like little like ancient village the one with the mud huts but i guess the museum's closed today so i'll try and see that i don't think i'm going to be able to but i think you can get there by road or maybe i can pay for another tour don't really fancy fancy paying but maybe i can talk one guy and just paying ten dollars or something just to ride me down there and just see that um or maybe another day so let's talk logistics how much does it cost well it costs 20 euros the tour is supposed to be from 10 30 to 4 30 but i'm not sure exactly how long that you know if it's definitely going to be that long because one of the places we're supposed to go was closed i think so uh, maybe my tour uh is going to be a bit shorter but overall basically it's six hours for 20 euros um i would recommend getting there and definitely text the guy before as you can see the one thing i made a mistake of i got there last and i got the worst seat in the place so you want the left hand side of the boat so if you from the front i don't know if it's port or starboard the left hand side of the boat because if you sit on the right you're not going to get any good photos or video so i'm down here now at st norm so i got off the boat and we walked to a restaurant beautiful restaurant lunch was about 13 dollars you could you can order what you want but it's not part of the trip so it's 20 euros for the ticket and about 10 15 euros for your dinner a lot of things here are dutch weirdly and we're about to go on a dutch boat trip in a minute which you'll see in, in a couple of seconds but i thought i'd come to the monastery first and have a look at the st norm monastery this is what you come for really and i'll show you now so this is the st norm church here So you can see here the frescoes in St. Sophia, we weren't allowed to film them, and here we are. So these are the, these are the kind of frescoes you get all over um, Macedonia. Absolutely fantastic, like pastel colours. So that's a bit of a whistle stop tour of the St. Norm. A bit quicker on to DB, but we've got to get on and go and do this boat trip, which is supposed to be quite good. So we're about to go on this Dutch boat around the lake. It's, apparently it's half an hour. It's a thousand dinar uh, for two people. So it's pretty cool. So apparently this, the water here is a spring water. It's 10 to 12 degrees at all times. It's 3.5 meters deep, clear crystal water. So you could drink this, probably. It's coming from Prespale. Prespale is behind all of this mountain. And Prespale is 100, 150 meters higher from here. Okay. And this mountain is a limestone mountain. And all the water is coming underground here, mountain to here. Now we go there, in one area we're looking underwater springs. With small gazes. So you can see here at the bottom, this is the, it's a spring. This is where you can see those little pools. That's where the water is coming through. Ten degrees water coming from the. Uh, from up the mountain there. Yeah. From so, Trespa Lake. Yeah, from Trespa Lake. It's coming up. So we've now left St. Norm and we're heading back to Ogryn now. So it should take around an hour to get back. So I finally finished the boat trip, which was lovely. Um, it took about an hour to get back. So as part of the trip, I thought the St. John's Church was part of it. It's actually not. You can walk there. So I'm going to walk there now and show you St. John's before the sun goes down. We're going to see it at sunset. So hopefully it'll be really, really nice. So. 
let's go. So as you can see, you can walk along this beautiful uh, boardwalk here, and you can see the cliffs and the, some of the beautiful uh, places here. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got the pier there, and the you know the, the places we've just been. That's that's where we just come from. So here, this is part of an old Ottoman castle. So this is actually a really, really old part. It's probably five, six hundred years old. And so here, you can see all these locks, and every one of these locks represents uh, someone's relationship. Maybe they got married. So people come here, put a lock on, that re represents their commitment to each other, you know, for life. Oh man, look at this. Oh, we should, yeah, this is good coming down at sunset. Why are you saying that? It's a good hour for sunset, I think. Yeah. <laughs> What? So we're walking through this quaint little like bit. Just you know, it's the path and it just follows the coast to St John's Church. So here is St John's. First thing you notice is this beautiful view of the cliffs. This is the very famous Google photo you'll see when you search Elk Road. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button, and I'll see you next time.